Russ, what have you guys identified as what you want to work on red zone? I mean, we just got to make plays. I think the biggest thing is just um, consistency down there. We've done some good things. Like, you know, you can't let one game. I've always told you guys this, you know, um, is that every every game has a history of its own. You know, and it's really true. I think that you you focus on you know trying to be a little bit crisper, uh, making a couple plays. Obviously, the week before we were, we made some really great plays in the red zone. You know, some touchdowns down there. So you, you just stay focused on the next moment. I think that's the best thing about the red zone is uh, the next moment is the most important one. Russ, you've had plenty of short weeks. How do you change? You, you've had plenty of short weeks in your yeah. career. Mm -hmm. Do you change anything up in your routine? Um, I try to keep my routine as, as similar as possible. I may have to speed up the days. Um, you know, and the timing. You know, especially like you know when we play on Sunday, um, ate dinner with the family and friends and all that. But then, you know, I'm already watching Cleveland, you know, Sunday night and and studying early Monday morning and everything else and just really preparing that way and, and physically getting tons of treatment Sunday night as well. So just getting you know uh, really two days ahead. I always try to be two days ahead. You know, a short week like this. So I, I think the best thing too is just getting out for practice in the day. We're moving around. Guys were focused, locked in, um, and, and watching tons of film and studying together. You well, Thomas said he wished he hadn't thrown the ball in the end zone the one that got picked. Do you wish the same, or do you wish you threw it differently? Uh, yeah, me, me too. Anytime you get down there, we want to score points. Obviously, you know, we were trying to get a touchdown there. I tried to lob one up, like I said, I told you guys, up to the big man, but uh, they made a play. Um, you know, in those situations, it's, you know, I've obviously made a lot of plays down there, you know, creating and everything else. So. You know, that, that one in particular, you know, just throw it away, make it a, make it a, a eight-point game, and then we get the ball back again and go score again. So the great thing is our defense responded. I think Peyton Wilson's play, uh, you know, evened it out a little bit. But that was that was a big moment for our, our defense to make that play. How troubling have been the, the turnovers in the Say again? Red zone? The last two weeks you've had turnovers in the red zone. How troubling has that been? It kind of changes the statistics there, you know? Yeah, I mean, you never want to turn the ball over at any point. You know, obviously, um, I think the best thing that we can do, though, is focus on uh, just trying to be, you know, great in the fundamentals, great in the little details. Um, and, and, you know, every time you step in the red zone, looking forward to scoring touchdowns. I think that's that's a mentality thing. I think that we've done that so far some this year. We want to do more of it, obviously. And, and uh, you know, we've got to have a great week in, 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 of practice this week, obviously in the short week, and be able to do it hopefully this week. You've uh, been on Super Bowl teams. You know what that feels like. Does this 8-2 and two record feel like a team that could still be playing this week in January? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think so that we have a chance. Uh, you know, I think the biggest thing for us is continuing to just take each week as, as the most important week of it all. You know, and I think that um, it's not really even just the week. It's just the day. It's just the moments in between. Um, I think the, the greatest teams, the greatest players in any sport, especially the teams I've been on, is is the, the moment is, is uh, it's never too far away. It's right here, right now. And uh, you're just locked into that, and you obsess over that, and you enjoy that part, and you – embrace that part and you love that part of it because you know you never know what tomorrow holds and I really believe that you just have to stay focused on the moment and, and uh, I think when we get to do it as a collective team effort uh, with these guys that we have the fundamentals the focus the, the details of the guys we have the, the, the passion and then our fan base as well um, it makes it that much more fun. Russ with that being said a lot of guys have been emphasizing team here does it feel like a complete team yeah. with you guys not just the offense but everyone? Yeah I think all, you know really since OTAs when we first got here and the guys come to San Diego just especially offensively we just bonded in such a great way you know I think that's been fun um, you know and then you know obviously Latrobe was great and you know and the hard work you put into there the, you know the, the, the tough early mornings the late days the late nights and all that and sitting on the porch as I told you guys before um, and then I think it's just the it's the little things that you have to do well there's no substitute for hard work you got to do the hard work and I think you know in a short week like today for example in this week you know, guys doing extra work, extra throwing in, in, in between drills today. George and Van and, and Big Mike and Calvin and, and Pat and Darnell and all those guys are getting extra work, you know. Uh, Jalen and, 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 and Naj just getting extra handoffs and extra different things that we're doing. And I, I just think that extra time is everything. And then you add into the bonding, you know, when we get to go out to dinners and break bread and just th those moments too. And, um, you know, I think all those things add up and, and matter. And uh, we're having fun, you know, we're having fun being together. This is. You know, the best part about life is, is that when you get to play football, you get to play the game you love. And, uh, you know, I always say we have the best jobs in the world. You know, we get to do what we love to do every day. We get to work at it, get to have fun while doing it, and it's a challenge. Um, but we embrace it every day. Russ, what do you see from this Cleveland defense when you watch them? Uh, I mean, they're obviously tough physical. Obviously, it starts up front for them. Uh, they got some great players on the defensive side. I think they fly around. They're coached well. Um, we got to bring our, our, our best football. Russ, you've had big targets before. How unique is what Darnell does? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't think you. I don't know. I've 
I mean, Jimmy Graham's probably the, the biggest guy you know I've, I've played with in terms of uh, you know how tall he was and everything else. Uh, and he was Jimmy was special. Uh, Darnell has got such big physical attributes in terms of he's you know I don't know 315 pounds can run, uh, can catch. You know I think you know really I just think that you know how how um, how versatile he is. You know I think his ability to make plays down the field, his ability to catch the ball in the flat and jump over guys, uh, and his ability to be a key. Um, you know, part of our, our run scheme and, and blocking and everything else. He just, he has that uh, grit, he has that mentality. He's a national champion, you know, a guy who's been at the highest level, um, played big time football, you know, just love being around him. He's young too, he's got so much talent and, you know, got all the belief in the world in him. So, um, and then, you know, add our receivers too. You know, we've got some guys that can really, um, you know, really talk and Burrow can go get the ball. Um, and, you know, obviously, and, and, and the guys that we have and, and George and Mike in particular, um, those guys are, are, are great athletes in terms of their vertical ability. How much, how, how much uh, work goes into scram scramble drills during practice, you know, with receivers? Because sometimes that seems like a field thing, but also think about things like with you and Tyler Lockett, you know, seeming yeah. to have that. Yeah, it, it definitely is time and attention. I think that you have to spend time on scramble drills. I think guys, get, you know, you know, it's, uh, you know, everybody's getting used to that part of it, I think, you know, uh, our ability to do that. And I think that's it's definitely showing up in a good way most of the time. And I think we want to be able to create those moments when, when something's not there. Um, I think George did a really good job on the third down. We kind of they covered everything up. We kind of scrambled, kind of went back and came back to him. Um, that was really great by him. So those have been some really great moments in that. And I think, you know, you have to do it in practice. You have to visualize it on film, even when you're sitting on the in the in the film on Sundays and Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays. You just you're learning and you're always learning. We got such a good young nucleus of guys that we're constantly learning, and that's the best part about it. And I think it's been obviously a, a, a big part of my game over the years and those explosive plays and those moments that happen just. You know, I'm never really looking to scramble, but when it happens, it, you know, here we go. You know, I think those guys do a good job of that. Russ, when you face an aggressive defense like the Browns, how do you balance the the will of, you know to make the play in the moment and, and take what's there with living for the next play? Because of how they try to press you guys, blitz you guys, and make plays. Like yeah, that. you know, played these guys last year. They're physical. They fly around. They do a great job. Like I said, they're really well coached. Um, Coach Schwartz does a great job coaching them up, and they're just such a talented group. So. You know, they're gonna they're gonna make some plays here and there. You got to understand that. You got to understand the balance of the game. You know, and and just really, um, you know, just playing the game. If it's a four quarter game, you know, and it's a four quarter game. You get to play the moments. And as I mentioned, to you guys, hopefully, you have a collection of seventy five great moments.